Hey guys, Trevor Warren 452 and today I'm going to do a review of this uh, Ignite Smart Stream it's called. If you don't know what Ignite Smart Stream is, it's um, provided by Rogers which is one of the bigger uh, cable providers here. Um, and uh, Ignite Smart Stream is the Ignite equipment which is for the voice remote and stuff. Same thing as the, the Xfinity X1 system. Uh, except this doesn't have any cable. Basically this is just a uh, a media box that you can get from Rogers. Um, I think it's only like five bucks a month. And uh, like I said, you can use Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Sportsnet, Hey YouTube, and more. So, as you can see, it's uh, to be used as <clears throat> Ignite as well. So, if I want to switch over to their actual Ignite um, cable system, I simply just make one call and say, "Hey, I got the box. Can you please, you know, add, you know, add the, you know, the cable to live channels and stuff <clears throat> to um, my package?" And they will. Uh, this is very similar to the Xfinity X1 system, and now Shaw Blue Curve has these receivers as well. So basically, Xfinity X1, uh, Shaw Blue Curve, and Rogers has this system now, pretty much. Except you know, each of them have their own. Uh, each of them have their own thing, differences. Uh, so let's take a look at this box. Uh, it came in a, um, a shipping box like you can get on Amazon or whatever, but of course I didn't want to use that to have my address on it. But once you open up, you had this. And um, yeah. So this is basically an Android box. So see the package contains, if it will focus, the package contains Ignite set top box, voice remote, HDMI, self installation guide, power cord. So on and so forth. Yeah, imported by Rogers Communications, all this stuff. So let's crack right into this and see what the presentation's like. So you can see it's all shrink wrapped. There we are, put that aside. Okay, focus. So yeah. Now let's open it. So it looks like you open it like this. So the first thing we got is, now you're in command, Ignite TV welcome guide, even though it's not Ignite, this is the uh, smart stream system. So here it is right here, the welcome guide, Ignite. What do we got here? The easy installation cable guide, it says. So Ignite set top box, voice remote, HDMI cable, power cord, and I don't know what uh, that is. Uh, trimming? What the heck is that? So, um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Dual splitter. This, as far as I know, this system does not require, um, any coax. It connects to your Wi-Fi. Here's this pretty cool re uh, voice remote. Let me take it out of here. Like, if you guys have the Xfinity X1 system, it's it exactly the same. It's the Canadian equivalent, pretty much the Xfinity X1. Let's get this remote open. Put that aside. Here it is. I won't pop that yet, but yeah, here we are. Put that over here. And you got a little box here. Oh, here it is. Nice. Uh, so yeah, this is the X16T. It says model of this box. What's it say on it? It has a Ethernet only for input devices, of course. HDMI and yeah, hmm. got plastic all over it. What's in this? Oh, this the spacer. Here's your power adapter, uh, Type C plug. It looks like. Type C, nice. And an HDMI cable that I'm probably not going to use, so I'll just put that in the. <laughs> I'll just put this aside with the rest of my HDMI cables. And this, what's this? A um, trimming cap to prevent signal interference. Use trimming cap on all unused cable outlets. Uh. They literally only send me one, so I can't use it on one. 
I'll probably put it over there anyway just to prevent any interference. So yeah, that's it. So let's um, move up to the TV. Sorry, I don't have a video capture card. But um, let me get this hooked up. Let's take this off. This stupid plastic. I got this, by the way, even though this is the, my, my TV is a smart TV. I got this because I wanted to do a video of it, and it seems like a pretty cool system, and I'm actually very curious about uh, how it works. I did have Ignite for a little while. I totally did have Ignite for a while. Uh, but our old area, the it never worked the best. But I still do have the Rogers Internet uh, specifically for uh, work-related uh, things. And I got my uh, main connection from another provider here for my home services. Uh, but it's the it's work for work connection, the um, Rogers line. So I figured I'd add this anyway. Let's see what it's all about. Let's take all this fancy plastic out. It is not ripping well. It is not ripping well. There we are. Nice. So it has a sync button, it looks like. It's information that I don't want you to see. Hopefully the camera never focused. And as you see, it says Rogers. And for size comparison, um, there's a Roku remote. Which is pretty common. As you can see. It's so small. Alright, so let's um, pause this video. Actually, I'll probably keep it going and just edit it out. But, yeah. So let's get up to the TV here. I have to move the camera a bit closer. Okay, so we're back. And uh, let's uh, plug this in. I got the Ignite box right here. And I got the USB Type-C. I scored HDMI for my other cable provider. And let's plug it in. Let's see how it happens. As you see, I just got it laid just under my TV right there. So let's see, welcome, alright, yeah, this is pretty, pretty standard. Again, sorry for YouTube 2007, but <laughs> it's the best I can do. Alright, so I guess we'll just wait for it to boot. Turn off this light over here. So, uh, ooh! Oh! That's the boot up sound. Cool! So, so you can see it better. Alright. Like I said, best I could do. Sorry, folks. So, I'm just gonna. Pop this, and now there's the most active. Ooh, nice, it lights up. All right, so we are English Canada. English Canada, so the remote just works right away. We're attempting to set up your network. Okay, what's it going to ask me to do? Device is activating. Please wait. Looks like it automatically logged onto my Wi-Fi, so it doesn't look like I didn't even type in, um... I didn't even need to type in, um, web key. It just automatically connected. I guess it did it on their self. Well, that was very simple. I like that. I was expecting I need to type my password in, but... Apparently not. So let's just plug it and go then, hey? It, it looks to be anyway. Okay, this is the living room.
Yeah, best I could do with the thing. Device successfully named. Your device is named Living Room. Optimizing for surround sound. Optimizing for 4K video, so it does everything manually. Resolution optimized for 4K video. The system has been optimized for the best possible resolution. Would you like to keep this? Yes. All right, so let's set up your new remote. So click yes. Uh, I have the new, the one that it's already labeled on, as you can see. So over that one, looks like they have multiple, but that's the one that I have. Okay, press and hold the menu, uh, the menu and info button for five seconds. All right. So basically, these two buttons for five seconds. There we go. Enter, uh, and then it says enter your code. So eight nine five. Your remote is paired for voice control. I like that. Would you like to set it up for your TV? Yeah, why not? Scanning for devices. Is this the T is this a TV made by TCL Roku? So it automatically picked up, as you can see, if it would focus already. It automatically picked up my TV brand. That's cool. Uh, so I want to press the power the volume, which is right here. Oh, it didn't work. Oh yeah, there it goes. See? It works. If you have an audio receiver, do you want to control it? Sure, why not? What brand is your auto receiver? It's a Logitech. There it is, Logitech. Pairing remote. Okay. Now, um, I don't have that plugged in, so let me do that right quick. See if it works automatically. All right, let's plug in the audio receiver. Okay, let me get out of here. Okay, I'll put this out. There we go. Auto receiver is plugged in, so let's turn it on and see if it controls the volume. Nope. It didn't work. Well, that's all right. That's, that's all right, but I guess we won't do that right now. All right, so here we are. Let's get started. So what do we got here? So you can sign in to, uh, uh, so let's get started. You can sign into your app. So Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Kids, Tubi, Hollywood Suite, Hey You, View All, Check this out. YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Sportsnet, Amazon Music, Tubi, Hey You, Kids, Hollywood Suite, Zonefly, Amazon Music, whatever that is, Stingray stuff, and Interactive Fun at Home. You're entering a third party app, it just came up on the bottom. So it's loading. So this is Ignite Fun at Home. So we got some games for kids, I guess. Yeah, so some games for kids. Now, like I said, this is not Ignite TV, as you can see. Roger Ignite Tip is not allowed with your seats. Channel up and down is not available with your subscription because, like I said, this is not actual Ignite TV. So let's uh, check out YouTube, eh? See how it works. It's fast, that's for sure. 
Let's do something that uh, something my cat is uh, scratching something that is not supposed to be. Hey! So let's go down. Let's, let's, let's look up something that I won't get copyright for. So, um. Yep, it's working. Check this out. That's still. I don't know if this will get me a copy, I hope not, but I'm going to check a uh, 4K video clip here and see how it runs 4K. Let's see. Oops. Let's try the voice remote, shall we? So I'm going to push the mic here. Let's see. 4K test video on YouTube. Check that out. All right, this is probably, hopefully this does not give me a copyright claim, but let's see. Let's see. All right, so as you see, my TV engage HDR. So the box does support HDR. And it looks really good. You can't see it with the 1080p camera because this is only a 1080p camera. And this is a... Uh, 4K TV, but you can really see it looks good. It's not lagging at all. Uh, my favorite is um, is nature videos for uh, testing. So yeah, yeah, that looks really good. And YouTube seems to be running a lot better than the one built into the TV. Now, mind you, this is a more budget um, smart TV. But this, yeah, YouTube is running way better on this than it is on the actual TV. So let's see, uh, let's try something else. Uh, let's look up our channel. Tron Media YouTube. Oops. Tron Media YouTube. Of course, it's not going to get the right Tron. <laughs> Wrong Tron, but you get the idea. So you can sign into your account. And now I'm not going to show anything on Netflix because of copyright. Uh, so yeah, what I like about this, if I do want to switch over to Ignite Cable, I easily can. I uh, simply just make one call and say, "Hey, can you uh, up me? Can you put me on Ignite Cable?" It even says the uh, the uh, weather automatically. So Smart Stream, Wi-Fi Hub. Uh, looks like we got, so it's it's very similar to a fire stick it looks like because everything is organized like your Netflix is organized in one spot. Okay, so we're back and uh, let's uh, plug this in. I got the Ignite box right here. And I got the USB Type-C. I just bought HDMI for my other cable provider. And let's plug it in. Let's see how it happens. As you see, I just got it laid just under my TV, right there. So let's see, welcome. All right, yeah, this is pretty, pretty standard. Again, sorry for YouTube 2007, but <laughs> it's the best I can do. All right, so I guess we'll just wait for it to boot. Turn up this light over here. So, uh, ooh! Oh! That's the boot up 
Sam. Cool. So you can see it better. All right. Like I said, best I could do. Sorry, folks. So I'm just going to pop this, and now there's the most active. Ooh, nice, it lights up. All right, so we are English Canada. English Canada, so the remote just works right away. We're attempting to set up your network. Hey, what's it gonna ask me to do? Device is activating, please wait. Looks like it automatically logged onto my Wi-Fi, so it doesn't look like I need to even type in, um, I didn't even need to type in um, web key, it just automatically connected. I guess they did it on their self. Well, that was very simple. I like that. I was expecting I need to type my password in, but apparently not. So let's just plug it and go then, hey? It, it looks to be anyway. Okay, this is the living room. Again, best I could do with the thing. Device successfully named. Your device is named living room. Optimizing for surround sound. Optimizing for 4K video, so it does everything manually. Resolution optimized for 4K video. System has been optimized for the best possible resolution. Would you like to keep this? Yes. All right, so let's set up your new remote. So click yes. Uh, I have the new, the one that it's already labeled on, as you can see. So over that one, looks like they have multiple, but that's the one that I have. Okay, press and hold the menu, uh, the menu and info button for five seconds. All right. So basically, these two buttons for five seconds. There we go. Enter, uh, and then it says enter your code. So, eight, nine, five. Your mode is paired for voice control. I like that. Would you like to set it up for your TV? Yeah, why not? Scanning for devices. Is this the T is this a TV made by TCL Roku? So it automatically picked up, as you can see, if it would focus already. It automatically picked up my TV brand. That's cool. Uh, so I want to press the power, the volume, which is right here. Oh, it didn't work. Oh yeah, there it goes. See, it works. If you have an audio receiver, do you want to control it? Sure, why not? What brand is your auto receiver? It's a Logitech. There it is, Logitech. Pairing remote. Okay. Now, um, I don't have that plugged in, so let me do that right quick. See if it works automatically. All right, let's plug in the audio receiver. Okay, let me get out of here. Okay, I'll put this out. There we go. Auto receiver is plugged in, so let's turn it on and see if it controls the volume. 
Nope. It didn't work. Well, that's all right. That's, that's all right, but I guess we won't do that right now. All right, so here we are. Let's get started. So what do we got here? So you can sign into. Uh, uh, so let's get started. You can sign into your app. So Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Kids, Tubi, Hollywood Suite, Hey You, View All. Check this out. YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Sportsnet, Amazon Music, Tubi, Hey You, Kids, Hollywood Suite, Zonefly, Amazon Music, whatever that is, Stingray stuff, and Interactive Fun at Home. You're entering a third party app, it just came up on the bottom. So it's loading. So this is Ignite Fun at Home. So we got some games for kids, I guess. Yeah, so some games for kids. Now, like I said, this is not Ignite TV, as you can see. Roger Ignite Tip is not allowed with your seats. Channel up and down is not available with your subscription because, like I said, this is not actual Ignite TV. So let's uh, check out YouTube, eh? See how it works. It's fast, that's for sure. Let's do something that uh, something my cat is uh, scratching something that's not supposed to be. Hey! So let's go to, let's, let's, let's look up something that I won't get copyright for. So, um, yep, it's working. Check this out, that's still. Smells really good, too. I don't know if this will get me a copy, I hope not, but I'm going to check a uh, 4K video clip here and see how it runs 4K. Let's see. Oops. Let's try the voice remote, shall we? So I'm going to push the mic here. Let's see. 4K test video on YouTube. Check that out. All right, this is probably, hopefully this does not give me a copyright claim, but let's see. Let's see. All right, so as you see, my TV engage HDR. So the box does support HDR. And it looks really good. You can't see it with the 1080p camera because this is only a 1080p camera. And this is a uh, 4K TV. But you can really see it looks good. It's not lagging at all. Uh, my favorite is um, is nature videos for uh, testing. So yeah, yeah, that looks really good. And YouTube seems to be running a lot better than the one built into the TV. Now mind you, this is a more budget um, smart TV. 
But this, yeah, YouTube is running way better on this than it is on the actual TV. So let's see, uh, let's try something else. Uh, let's look up our channel. Tron Media, YouTube. Oops. Tron Media, YouTube. Of course, it's not going to get the right Tron. <laughs> Wrong Tron, but you get the idea. So you can sign into your account. And now I'm not going to show anything on Netflix because of copyright. Uh, so yeah. What I like about this, if I do want to switch over to Ignite Cable, I easily can. Uh, simply just make one call and say, hey, can you, uh, up me, can you put me on Ignite Cable? It even says the, uh, the uh, weather automatically. So Smart Stream, Wi-Fi Hub. Uh, looks like we got, so it's, it's very similar to a Fire Stick it looks like because everything is organized, like your Netflix is organized in one spot. Uh, your popular movies, your popular uh, TV sh you know, shows. Uh, free to me, so basically any of the stuff that's available on uh, Rogers On Demand, I can either rent or use some of the free stuff, but I'm not going to do that because of copyright. But, what kind of settings do we got on here? Let's go to the Rogers menu here. I don't even know how to get to the settings. Anyway. Oh, right down here. They very changed the... Uh... Oh, here we go. So... You can clearly tell it's Android. <laughs> like there's no there's no there's no denying this is Android. Like that's hilarious. Unfortunately, it's it's a locked down version of Android. Um. So I don't know. Hopefully, maybe eventually they will open it up because there's some other companies that that actually provide an Android box that's fully you can run any Android app. So hopefully. Rogers does that where you can run any Android app you want. So you got some closed caption, you got video display settings. So it says 4K HDR, uh, so TCL Inc. So I got 4K and I can all the, all the way go down to 720p if I want to. So we got a system refresh right on here. That's about it. Let me um, play with this a bit and log in all my account stuff and um, I'll probably do an update video at some point about it. Uh, but I'd say this is a quick first impressions uh, right now, even though the video is like 20 minutes long. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I'll go over some more in detail stuff once I get everything signed in and stuff and maybe another part. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.